Hi, I'm Fran. I work here at the Cotswold Farm Park on the livestock team and I'm just on my way to go and feed some of our heavily pregnant Paul Dorset ewes. Now most sheep will only come in season in the autumn, therefore they're having their lambs in the spring when the weather's warming up and the grass is growing, which is perfect for newborn lambs and you can picture them hopping and skipping around in the field in the spring with the flowers. Now the pole dorsets are one exception to this rule, they can give birth at any time of the year. So these are actually due in two weeks time, which is perfectly timed for our half term. Now we've got them all pregnancy scanned, that was midway through their pregnancy, so that means we can tell how many lambs they're expecting. We've got 26 ewes pregnant, we've got a mixture of singles and twins, and then we've got six of them expecting triplets. So if they've got one red spot on their right hand side, it means that they're giving birth to just a single lamb. A blue spot means they've got two inside, twins and a green spot means that they've been pregnancy scanned to expect the triplets. So if you come down here in a couple of weeks for our October half term, hopefully you'll be able to see a live birth, um, or if not, we should have lots of little lambs skipping around in the barn. So we've just had our annual TV test results, and amazingly, again this year, all our cows have passed. They've gone clear, they are negative for TV, and so in a minute our Albions will be making their way back down the track and into their paddock to relax for the rest of the day. Ah. As you'll see coming down we've got a couple of little Albion calves amongst this group. These are two little bull calves so hopefully in the future they will be growing big and strong and they will be sold on to other breeders uh, to carry on the genetics of the Albion uh, national herd, not just the herd here on the farm park. The Albion is an incredibly rare breed. They've actually just been recognised as a breed by the RBST, um, having been previously thought extinct. And we've had them here on the farm for a couple of years now and working really hard with their conservation. So it's a huge relief that they passed their TB test because after all the conservation work we've done, establishing our breed group, it would have been devastating to lose any to TB. Um, so a real sigh of relief across the farm today. Behind me, we have a very exciting new arrival on the farm. We have a new little Exmoor foal, and he is particularly tiny. His mum is called Coral. You'll be able to pick her out amongst the other Exmoors because she's just slightly darker in colour, and she's a first-time mum. It's quite late for a foal. We weren't actually expecting him this late. Uh, we'd actually given up on hope that she was pregnant, as the spring and the summer had passed, and still no foal. Uh, but let's say a few days ago, uh, tiny little Gideon appeared. You may have seen him on other social media that we do, um, but he's doing really well, he's been tiny but he's incredibly energetic, a big bold personality um, and he should grow up into a big impressive stallion.